Hey what's good everybody, my name is James and today I'm going to be talking about two try 1.3 spoilers that were shown in a live stream event the other day. So thank you to whoever screen capped these, you are a legend, and that means that we can talk about them today. Now our first spoiler comes in the form of confirmation. So about a year ago I spoke in a video about a portal gun being added into Terraria, and I also spoke to Red about this and he said he'd speak to Valve, and we've known for a while that the portal gun was coming into Terraria but we just didn't know when, and so it's finally been confirmed by Senex that it's 1.3 and this actually gets me pumped for the update 1.3 is you know it's one of the massive updates like 1.2 and that the everyday user is gonna really really enjoy it's just I needed something recently to kind of hook onto and get myself excited you know what I mean like I see so much being added into the game and I really just need that one finite thing that I can hook onto personally and the portal guns it so if you don't know what a portal gun would look like in Terraria Go play the game Mario. It was a game that I played on my channel about two years ago, and it's essentially Mario and Portal. And it works perfectly, and it's such a fun game. Me and my friends used to play as an IT all the time. It was such a laugh. So, it is right click, or sorry, left click to send a blue portal, and right click to send an orange one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And the R button removes all the portals. But I wish I didn't remove them because that would have helped it a lot. And this is why I can't wait to see it added into Terraria. I think it can make some really fun custom maps and I think it can make for some really fun lasts and so it's a really good addition by my books. Now my second spoiler is actually confirmation as well and it's actually confirmation about a throwback item from the early stage of development in Terraria and that's the Zappinator. Now the Zappinator was the gun that the developers used to use to destroy all the enemies in the game essentially because at the time it was insanely powerful. But if you compare it to what it's like now, it's not that powerful. But unfortunately, and this is unfortunately for me because I would have loved to see a return of the item, Senex has confirmed that the Zappinator will not be reappearing in 1.3 and I'd actually seen a little bit of speculation about this a few weeks prior. Bit of a shame really, it's actually a fantastic weapon, I really like the idea of it, but it makes sense. You see, Red has had problems in the past with Nintendo, and I think that's all public knowledge at the minute. But yes, I think that if we keep adding Nintendo stuff into Terraria, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna have a problem. So the Zappinator will not be making a return. It's a little bit of a shame. It really is. But yeah, what can you do? So that's about it for Terraria 1.3 spoilers. Make sure to stay subscribed for all things Terraria. I recently went to Leeds Festival, which is a big British festival thing in the summertime. And I was away for a week and then I've been sick ever since. So I apologize for the lack of videos. I am still covering Terraria stuff, don't you guys worry. But that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is James. Make sure to stay subscribed. Peace.